Hello guys and welcome back. In this video we will see how to create a simple calculator in Java. The source code of this project will be available on my Patreon page. So if you want you can join my Patreon page with as little amount as $2. And you will get access to all the source code of my videos plus all other features like you can unlock all the exclusive updates and much much more. The link to my Patreon page is given in the description down below. So make sure to check it out. Now let's get started with our project. So I am inside the IntelliJ IDE and let's create a brand new project. Just click on file, new and project and make sure to select Java as a language and in my case it is by default selected. So just click next. Now here just check mark on the box and click next. Now it is asking for the name of your project. So I write calculator app and let's click finish. So there you go we have our new project created. Now by default Java gives us main class. So let's replace the class name with calculator and it will give you a warning. So just hover over the warning and a bulb icon will appear. Just click on it to resolve this issue. And after that just click on the main option at the top and just name your package same as your class name. After that you can see we have no more issues. Now to create a GUI application we need to import two of the Java packages. So first of all you need all the stuff from javax.swing and secondly you need all the things from java.awt.event and that's all you need. Now let's make our class to implement an action listener so that we can override one of the method inside action listener and let's also define that method inside our counter class as public void action performed and let's pass the arguments as action event with small e as an object. And let's also add at the rate override before this method. After that it is the time to create our variables. So first of all we need a frame. So just write jframe and let's give it a name as frame. And a frame basically holds all the GUI components inside. So after that we need a text field. Basically we need three text fields. Two for the inputs and one for the output. And finally I need four buttons for the arithmetic operations. So just declare it as J button and let's give it a name as add button. Similarly let's declare one for the subtraction, multiplication and division. And that's it. Now we are done with the declaration of GUI components. Now it's time to initialize these variables. So I am doing it with the help of constructor. So just declare a constructor with the same name as the name of your class and it has no return type. And after that let's also create an object of our calculator class inside the main function so that its constructor can get called. Now let's initialize each of the variable inside the constructor. So first of all let's initialize the frame as frame equal to new jframe and let's provide the name of our application that is calculator app. After that we can set the size of frame. So just write frame.setSize and let's make it 520 by 450. After that let's write frame.setLayout to null. So this will draw our frame. Now let's initialize our text field as text field 1 equal to new j text field and let's set the bounds as 50 from the x axis, 25 from the y axis, width of 370 and height of 30. So this will draw the text field into our frame at this position. Now just set the border of the text field to null and let's provide a tooltip text over the text field to let the user to enter first number. Now let's copy the code of text field 1 and let's paste it two times for text field 2 and text field 3. And just replace the y value and tooltip text and you are done with drawing the text fields into the frame. Now let's initialize the buttons. So let's code for the add button. So first of all let's initialize the add button and let's give it a name of add. And after that just write add button dot set bounds and let's provide the parameters as 50 on the x, 160 on the y, width of 70 and height of 50. 
After that let's call the add action listener method for this button and just pass the event object as this which will represent this button in the action performed method. Now let's copy the code of add button once again and let's paste it three times for the subtraction, multiplication and division buttons and just change the x value of set bounds and name of these buttons. After that in order to draw all these components you need to add them to the frame. So just add text field 1, text field 2, text field 3, the add button, the multiplication button, the subtraction button and the division button. And finally let's make the frame visible by writing frame.set visible to true. And let's run our program. So there you go. This is the UI of your application. If you hover over the text fields, you can see that the messages or tooltip text appears. For the first one it says enter first number, for the second one it says enter second number and for the third one it says result. And you have all the buttons down below that you can program in order to make all the arithmetic operations between two numbers. So let's go back to our program and let's code the action performed method so that we can perform the operations and get the result after clicking on these buttons. So we already are calling this method and passing the event object as to whatever button we click so that we can use this event to call its method that is get source and we can assign the add button and let's wrap this inside the if statement. So if the user presses the add button then everything inside of this if block will be executed. So what we need is the value of the text field 1 and text field 2. And we can simply take these values using get text method available inside the text field. But it will give us the value in string. And then we can't add these values. So to store the values as integer, we will use a built-in method in Java called as integer.parseInt. And let's wrap it around string value and this will now return integer values. So just store it inside the int num1 variable and similarly just do it for the second text field and store the value in num2 variable. Now we have the values of text field 1 and text field 2. When the user tries to enter these values we are storing them inside the num1 and num2 variables. And now we can declare another variable called as sum and let's add num1 and num2 inside the sum variable. And finally let's add the result inside the third text field using set text method. And let's concat the variable with empty string so that it shouldn't complain. So now we are done with the add button functionality. Now let's copy and paste the code of add button three times for the rest of the buttons and let's replace the name of the source button, change the operation sign and name of the result variable for each button. So that's it we have created our program now let's run it and there you have your output let's input first number as 3 and second number as 9 let's click on the add button so this is adding the values and placing the result inside text field 3 now let's click on the multiply button so this is so this also works and the subtraction button also works and lastly the division button is also working properly so this is how you can create a simple calculator in Java. And now your task should be experimenting the project and take it to the next level. I mean just add some more functionality, another button for calculating the reminder between two numbers, just improve the UI a little bit, add some validations in the input and this is the best way to learn coding. And if you have any problem you can ask me below down in the comments. So that's it for this video. I hope you find this video helpful. For more videos like this, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon next to it. And if you want to support me then you can do it on Patreon with as little amount as $2. I will also put the source code of this project on Patreon as well. The link to my Patreon page is given in the description. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you in the next time.